Welcome to the Waffle Flower Channel. Hi everyone, Katie Gehring here. On today's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to be showing you how I combined some newer products as well as some old favorites to create this card that's perfect for your very best friend. So to start, I am pulled out some of the dies that I'm going to be using as well as one of the stamp sets. The die is called the mini strawberry die and it's new from our latest release and then I'm going to be combining that with the egg hunt die and then also the clear stamp set. So to create my strawberries what I decided to do just to kind of keep things simple is I am die cutting everything from white cardstock and then I am adding pigment using distress inks. So I am sponging some ink color on this is using candied apple and then I am doing this on top of a distress um, a ranger craft mat and it makes cleanup super simple. So now I have moved on to adding some color to the strawberry stems and I'm doing that with the shade called Shabby Shutters. And then my next step is going to be to add some ink to the basket. And I'm doing that with a Distress Ink color called Gathered Twigs. And I could have die cut this basket using Craft and that would have given me a really nice base color. But just to kind of keep everything simple, keep my supplies simple, I decided to cut everything with the white card stock and then just add the um, shading using the Distress Ink. With this basket in particular, I know that I don't have to cover it completely with this distress ink because I'm going to be adding the basket liner here in a moment and that is going to cover a good amount of the basket die cut. So to decorate the basket liner, I've pulled out the clear stamp set and there's this adorable little heart that is included in the stamp set. And then I just inserted a scrap piece of cardstock to kind of mask off um, the area that would then be the back of the basket liner and just make sure that um, I can make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just stamping hearts in a random pattern onto the basket liner. My last step is to add some ink to the bow that I'm going to attach to the basket handle. And I'm doing that using um, two different shades of Distress Ink. The first is called Spun Sugar and it's a pretty pale pink and then I'm going to add some darker pigment using a shade called Worn Lipstick. Now that I have everything inked and colored I'm going to start assembling the pieces by adding the tops to the strawberries just using a little bit of a glue pen and a pickup stick to help me handle it a little bit easier. I'm also going to add the center to the bow. And then my last step will be to adhere the liner that I had stamped with the small hearts to the basket um, that I had colored in using the Distress Inks. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the background of the card and to do that I pulled out a couple pieces of scrap card stock along with the new Lacy Squares dies and the Chunky grass die and I have run those through my die cut machine and I'm adding just a little bit of distress ink around the corners and edges so that it has a similar look and feel to the pieces that I added the color to earlier using distress ink. So for the blue um, cardstock I had used tumble glass and for this grass I'm using um, twisted citron. I'm going to adhere the grass to the blue square and then I'm going to figure out the placement of my basket and the berries. One of the really cool things about this egg hunt die is that basket liner has a slit in it that you can use to kind of tuck either the eggs or in this case strawberries inside the basket and they're, they're held together quite nicely. Now before I adhere the bow and then that other strawberry that's kind of lying there on the ground, I'm going to adhere the basket first just using some regular adhesive as well as a glue pen. And then I'm going to need to figure out how I want my sentiment to appear on this panel. The sentiment that I'm going to use for this card is from the Claire stamp set and it says Berry Best Friend. And I think it just goes really, really well with this mini strawberry die um, and will create a super sweet friendship card to share with a friend. So I stamped that using VersaFine ink and my Misty and now I'm attaching the bow with a little bit of foam tape and I'm also going to attach this little strawberry to the ground 
using a little bit of foam tape as well. My last step is going to be to create a card base and to do that I'm going to be pulling out again the lacy squares dies and I want to create a scallop square um, card base to go along with the scallop square that I had die cut to mount my stamped panel to. So to do that I pulled out the scallop square and it measures just between like four and a half and five inches and so I cut a piece of card stock to five inches by eleven inches and then I scored it at five inches. I adhered the die to the paper and held it in place with washi tape and you notice the top edge of the die extends beyond the fold so that when I run it through my die cut machine the sides and the bottom of the card are cut but I'm not cutting through that top fold and that's going to preserve the integrity of the note card base. I'm going to adhere the stamped and die cut panel to the scallop square just using a little bit of foam tape trying to make sure that it's centered as best I can and then I'm going to add some adhesive to the note card and then adhere the scallop square to the note card and it's going to look like it is a scallop square note card and if you flip it over you can see how the square just extends a tiny bit above. So that is going to be it for me today. For more product information please visit waffleflower.com Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for even more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.